Hello student, in this class we discuss about freehand spline tool and this tool recently introduced in 3ds max 22 version. By using this tool you can create hand drawing spline directly on the viewport and this tool available in the shape section by clicking on this you can access this tool. In the last class we discuss about extrude tool update. If you want to see that video link available in the i button. Now I click on this tool to activate and these are freehand spline parameter. First I create a spline on the viewport by click and drag method. So a freehand spline is created. If you want to see the vertex node that created on this spline, click on the show node checkbox and these vertex node is created by mouse movement. If you create a spline with the speed method like this, so the very few vertex node is created this time. Now I right click and then click on this tool again. In the create group these two parameter capture the mouse movement on the viewport and by using these value they create vertex knot. First parameter granularly by default value is 3. It collect the sample of mouse movement and based on this sample. Second parameter threshold. It calculate how far this point will be created. So if you create a spline with the speed method very few point will be created because granularly parameter record very few mouse movement but spline will not create very smooth so control on the mouse speed. Now I explain this tool with a example so you can better understand. First I unhide my 3D model so I right click and unhide all. First I maximize this perspective viewport and select all the 3D object then click on the freehand tool. Now I add all 3D object in the constraint list. So I click on this checkbox and these 3D model add in this list. Freehand tool is still selected. In case freehand tool deselect, click on this button. So this will activate again. Now I create a freehand spline on this burger. So I choose top viewport for creating this and start creating from here. And these are normal lines. If you want to hide them, Click on the normal checkbox and create other freehand spline. Okay, so freehand spline creation is complete. Now I switch to perspective viewport. If you want to see the vertex not count on this spline, you can see here. Now I make some changes on these splines. So I start from the first freehand spline. I change the rendering parameter. I think first I have to convert this as a editable spline. So first I deselect this and select all the spline and convert into editable spline. Okay. Now I try. Now it's work same as I change rendering parameter for other spline. So it's a problem in this tool rendering option not apply on the freehand spline. I hope in the next version they fix this problem. Okay. Now I select all the spline and change color. I choose light yellow color so it will look like a noodle. If you have any other idea how you can use this tool you can share with me. If you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel and like this video. Now we meet in the next video.